it is the silence of love. Because silence is the language of God and silence is the language of love. Adayaan ko kayo ngayon na pagnilayan, isipin natin, imagine natin na tayo ay nasa loob ng kabaong at yung kabaong nasa loob ng libingan. Nicho. Alam mo yung pakiramdam? Ano yung pakiramdam? Pakiramdam ng nakakulong. Being trapped. Being stuck. And you're not able to move. Alam natin yung ganong pakiramdam. Ito mga nakaraang linggo, quarantine. Namamasyal na lang tayo sa loob ng bahay. Itong nakaraang linggo, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Mas maluwag pa ngayon kaysa sa kabaong o kaysa sa libingan. But the feeling is the same. Being trapped, being stuck. Nang ano? Being trapped by sin. Being, strap, being trapped by a bad habit. Being stuck by the wrong impression of people. Minsan yung ating mga kaibigan, silang magiging pinaka matalas na kaaway. Kasi sa isang pagkakamali, the wrongdoing sticks to us. Ayaw na nilang palitan yung kanilang pagtingin sa atin. We are branded. Branded akong manluloko. Branded akong sinungaling. Branded akong mamamatay tao. Branded akong abortionist. Branded akong cheater. Ang dami. We can get branded. We can get stuck. We can get trapped by the perception of other people. Di lang yun. Minsan sa mass media din. Minsan sa social media din. We get stuck sapagkat binibigyan na natin ng bawat isa ng dilawan, DDS, bulag, bingi, pipe, walang kwenta, korap. We get stuck, we get trapped by the perception of other people. Why do we get stuck? Why do we get trapped? Like inside the tomb. Pakiramdam mo kasi, nag-iisa ako. Pakiramdam mo kasi, iniwanan ako ng mga kaibigan ko. Pakiramdam mo kasi, kahit mawala ako, hindi nila mararamdaman. Pakiramdam mo kasi, wala na akong kwenta kasi nanda pa ako. Kapag pinagsama-sama natin yon, we get stuck, we get trapped because we are afraid to confront the truth. And what is the truth? That even if we have fallen, even if we have failed, even if we have erred, the mercy of God is there. Ang solusyon sa entrapment, ang solusyon sa getting stuck na hindi ka na makagalaw, ay humingi ka ng tulong at sabihin mo, Lord, set me free. And Jesus came to set us free. Jesus knew what it is to be trapped. And He doesn't like you to be trapped. Alam ni Jesus getting stuck. At ayaw niyang stuck pa dyan. Alam ni Jesus na parang naiipit. At ayaw ni Jesus na naiipit ka dyan. Just ask the Lord, Lord, give me freedom. Give me forgiveness. Ayaw na nila akong bigyan ng pagkakataon. Alam ko, Panginoon, You are God of infinite chances. You are God of infinite opportunities. Minsan, we are stuck by our own hearts. Sapagkat kahit sarili mo, di mo na kayang patawarin. But my dear young people, even if your heart cannot forgive you anymore, God is greater than your heart. And God's mercy is always available for you. 
Are you stuck? Are you trapped? Quarantined? Call on the Lord and the Lord will set you free. Amen.